All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to use a bulk editor to change all the products that we want to put on sale for a Black Friday sale. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to click on Advanced Bulk Edit. Let's go ahead and select the category by which we want to choose our product. So in this case, we'll choose the marketplace. Go ahead and click Get Products. Now that all of your products are listed, you have to decide which ones you want to update. So we have the regular price and the sale price and a few other things that are going on here. But let's clean this up a little bit so that we can see what's going on. So we're going to click on Show and Hide Fields. We're going to go ahead and turn off the description. We don't need it. We don't need product gallery, features, image. But we're going to turn on Start Date and End Date. Click OK. It's going to refresh. Now here's here's our window of where we're going to be working at. So here's our regular price. We're going to set a sale price, a start date, and an end date. So the first thing we're going to do is select all of our products. Now if we want to update everything, then check this box here and that'll select everything. But for this demo, we're only going to do the top five. So we'll go ahead and select the top five items that we want to update. Go ahead and click on the bulk edit and we want to set the sale price to decrease by 50% from the regular set, from the regular price. So, click decrease, add in 50 and click okay. Now you can see here it's decreased the price of everything that was selected. If this doesn't look right or something is off, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can say revert to original value all rows or selected rows we'll just go all rows so you can see that it it set everything back until we hit save changes right here no changes will take effect but that's in case something goes weird and you want to update it you can set it back by hitting that button down at the bottom so let's go ahead and do this again sale price decreased by 50 percent from regular so we'll go ahead and type in 50 and say okay so now our sale price is, is in there. Now we need to hit a start date. <clears throat> but we're going to do this instead of one at a time. We're, go we're going to set the start and the end date, but we're going to link everything together. So go down to the bottom and click on linked editing. What this does is this says anything that I do here due to everything that's selected. So if I select a start date, for Black Friday and as soon as I click into the next field it's going to update everything. Now I'm going to set my end date to, we'll go ahead and let it roll through the weekend. There you go. So now you can hit save changes, everything will be updated and then the sale will start on Friday and end on Sunday. 